hello, and this is the first Let's Play that I'm going to do. Um, this is uh, Pineapple Trifle, and today we're going to try uh, an amusing little jaunt called Donald Duck Going Quackers, and it really is as bad as it sounds. Trust me. Um, yes. Uh, I haven't... I've tried recording this a couple of times so I know the first world basically and here we have for some reason Daisy Duck appears randomly in a temple apparently Murloc I don't know why they need to know about him or why he's so terrible apparently she's terrific I don't know who this guy is either with a hat on shakes it first um, there's a, a running theme throughout this game of them just assuming things are evil and then killing them for no reason. Uh, a lot of the bosses are based on, you're bad and I kill you now. They're not affiliated with the evil magician in any way, they're just dead. I will kill you because I am a duck and I want my girlfriend back. I just see... Oh, Donald. <laughs> Will you ever get it right? And so we have whoever that tall duck is. I can't. He's on stuff, but I don't actually think he's an original tunnel duck character. I think they added him in later on. For some reason, because the tel the teleporter is not functional yet, we have to travel around the world waiting for it to get ready. Makes as much sense to you as it does to me. And here we are, world one. Now, there's a hilarious bug here. If you talk to this kid, he does not stop talking ever. He just continues to talk until you die. Or turn your computer off, whichever one comes first. Um, and so, we're not going to bother with that. He's just telling you what's going on anyway. There's no real reason to talk to him. Hello, you're playing a game and this is what you have to do. Collect these things and jump up and down. Uh, these things are tutorial things, you don't need to touch them. You may notice as we start... Mm, that looks like Crush Bandicoot. You will not be far wrong. It basically, aside from obvious differences, it's a duck and not a bandicoot. Um, there's no wooden mask flying next to your head. All those kinds of things. It's pretty much exactly the same. It's one of those kinds of games that come out like the old Tiny Toon Adventures games, things like that, where you could put any character in instead and it would be the exact same game and no one would tell the difference. It's not memorable in any way, it's just a time kill. Which is essentially it. A g as good a reason as any for games, I suppose. We can't really complain about that. Um, but it's entertaining nonetheless. In its own way. So, tra -la -la. These things. Anton LaVey on the side of a book. You punch those and then the teddy bears become collectible. Uh, who knows why. The duck did explain it at the beginning. It was something about the evil wizard Marlock or Murloc has put a secret level there, if you didn't know. Has put a terrible curse on toys. Oh, specifically on Huey and Dewey and Louie's toys. So that they can't be collected unless you break the spell by punching a buck in the face. Again, doesn't make much sense. But then we're talking about a duck with a speech impediment who... doesn't wear trousers. Let's be honest. He's... It kind of... He, he puts me in mind of a creepy old man. I have to say. There's something slightly odd about him. 
and not in that lovable cartoon character way, but there's something a bit unhinged about him. He flies into a rage for no apparent reason. Doesn't wear trousers. You can't understand what he's saying. He's dressed as a sailor. It's He's clearly come back from a stag night and doesn't know where he is. I'm assuming that's basically what the game is. They've picked up a drunk and said, you must find your girlfriend. Here is a series of repetitive side and forward scrolling platform missions that you must complete that are in no way resemble Crush Bandicoot. For those of the other that are, not, that are saying, oh, well, you know, it's just a passing resemblance. All games like this look like Crush Bandicoot. You will see. You will see very so very shortly. Now, um, I have played this a long, long, long time ago, so I do sort of know what I'm doing, but I didn't get very far because, uh, you know, I was a child. But I do remember bits. Um, so, we will be playing through. I will be surprised at some parts that I haven't seen yet. For some reason, drinking an ice cream makes him fly into a rage, which makes as much sense as beavers with axes wanting to kill you for no reason. Then, ducks with nets. There's he's made a lot of enemies. That's all I can assume. There's unless they work for the hospital and they're trying to get bring him back because he's unhinged. He's not wearing any trousers. I mean, it's like there's got to be something wrong with him. So the butterfly net would make sense if they're trying to bring him back to the asylum. Not that I'm trying to ruin anybody's childhood memories or anything, but you know. I'm just reading into it as you would a, a novel or a film. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. The strange, strange method of attack is uh, quite distressing. Here we go. Crazy ice cream rage. Once more. Um, collect. Uh, he only has one attack, which it says press once for a short attack and then hold down for a longer attack, which is just an extended, it's not even a combo. Let's just hold the button down. And then he does this flying kick thing. Which is quite good. It's called something stupid like the... Duck Fu Young or something like that. It's a horrible Chinese food karate reference. Um, oh, secret thing, which isn't very secret. I'm assuming this whole first area is kind of a train. Ah, oh, you... Fool. I'm assuming this whole first area is kind of practice, because the secrets aren't very secret, and the there's not much of a challenge to it. Also, it doesn't say that you can jump on the heads of things, but you can. It doesn't mention that, it says you have to punch them. Nowhere... So I played through the opening and I played through the tutorial bits, but you don't have to do the tutorial bit to learn the moves, so I just didn't bother because they're not very interesting. Um, but you, it just says you have to fight them, punch them, kick them. It doesn't say you can jump on the heads and squash them. I think they assumed that it was just so generic that they didn't need to say that people would assume that that's what you could do. 